This is a little tutorial on the different kinds of cat chase balls that we make and sell. I thought we would start with the smallest ones and work our way forward. So we make three different kinds of small chase balls. They're about the size of a ping pong ball. Some of them are a little bit smaller, some of them are a little larger. They are all handmade and that's why there is a variety. To begin with, we offer a brand new product, which is a little, we call it a woolly ping pong. You can see it's about the size of a ping pong. And it's very, very bouncy. I don't know quite the physics of why it's so bouncy, but it is completely 100% organic wool. It's uh, got a little bit of a softer inside, and it's wrapped like all of our wool balls are. And these come in packs of six. They are great. They're very bouncy. They're washable, just as is, just as are all of our chase toys for cats. The other wool chase toy we offer is this woolly dust bunny. This dust bunny is a pom pom, but we felt it. That means that you can't just pull it apart. The cat won't be able to pull it apart because it's felted in the heart, which means that the fibers have. In the, under the influence of a certain kind of pH, hot water and friction have bound themselves together. So even though this looks really delicate, it's a tough little ball and it's also really bouncy. But because it's fuzzy, cats can pick it up and carry it around, which of course cats love. For our cotton loving friends, we make a uh, chase ball. We, that is our cotton dust bunny. It's a fuzzy pom pom. It's a little bit bigger than a ping pong. And this is for the customers who really would prefer not to have wool. Some of you might be vegan. Some of you may have cats that are allergic to wool. The, dust, the cotton dust bunny is a great alternative. It may be a little bit less durable than the um, wool dust bunny or the wool ping pong, but not to, not to worry, it's still quite durable. And of course it's washable. And it comes as in a pack of six. So working our way up the um, size chain of chase balls. We also, for cats, have wool balls that are a little firmer. They're wrapped. They're quite firm, as a matter of fact. And you know, some cats love a firm ball. They like to chase them. And, and, and some cats prefer a fuzzy, softer ball. So our, our littler chase balls that I talked about um, just a bit earlier are a fuzzy, softer ball. And these are a little harder. And they have a little, I don't know if you can hear it, they have a little bell on the inside. Um, and we have three small ones that come in a pack. In, in, in a, we sell them in threes. And they're about the size, a little bit larger than a ping pong. We also offer a medium wool ball that is, oh, you know, it's probably um, about um, one and a half times the size of a ping pong, usually about two and a half inches across, two to two and a half inches, depending on. Um, which one we're talking about. They are handmade, so they do vary. And they're wrapped, and they're much more durable. And they, we sell them in singles, and they're very bouncy, and they're, of course, washable. And there's nothing in these but a little bell in the heart and wool, organic wool. And we make a large ball. A large ball is really good for the large cat. A Maine Coon, perhaps a forest cat, somebody with big paws who likes to really smack the ball around or hold it between their paws and kick it. And this large ball is a, is a little bit smaller than a, than a, than a baseball, a hard ball. Um, and it is usually uh, two and a half to three inches across and very bouncy and again, very washable. So there you have it, there's a variety. You can get a small ball in packs of six. That's the dust bunny and the ping pong. You can also get little balls, little wrapped wool balls that are sold in packs of three. You can try a medium wool ball or a large wool ball. And there you go.